If we then look at the two systems together, and by the two systems I mean latitude and longitude, we now have a system whereby we can identify where places are. The diagrams, of course, show lines of latitude and longitude. And remember that latitude is distance from the equator, north or south of the equator, and longitude is distance from Greenwich east or west of Greenwich. OK, now what we haven't said is much about the units. So, if we start at the equator as nought degrees of latitude, the North Pole is 90 degrees north. And the South Pole, 90 degrees south. So that's very straightforward, no problems. So this one here would be, say, 30 degrees south. And this one here would be 60 degrees south. Um, this looks like about 25 degrees north. Um, maybe 60 degrees north. 75 degrees north. OK. Right, now, a little bit more complicated when we come to longitude, because if this is our prime meridian, our Greenwich prime meridian, and that is naught degrees, then going this way, we're going to go all the way around the Earth, and we're going to meet the distances coming that way. So what do we do? Let's look at it looking straight down on the North Pole. So if we take, again, our nice circular Earth, this wonky orange Earth, and we say there is Greenwich, more degrees. And this way we are going east. So here would be 90 degrees east. And this way we are going west. And here would be 90 degrees west. What is going to happen when we get to here? We will have gone all the way around. And at this point, we will be 180 degrees west. But if we go this way, all the way around, and at this point, we are 180 degrees east. So we don't call it east or west, we call it 180 degrees of longitude. So the prime meridian is nought degrees. And if you were an ancient Greek or Roman, you would know that when we use the word anti, we mean opposite. So opposite the prime meridian is the anti-meridian. Now that's a very old name. We don't often use that. Um, anti-meridian, but nevertheless it helps us to remember the anti-meridian is opposite. This of course being the North Pole. So we are looking down on the Earth from the North over there. Okay, another name for this is the International Date Line. And it's not quite the International Date Line, because the International Date Line doesn't stick exactly to that 180 degrees. Um, but it follows it most of the way. And we'll need to talk more about what the International Date Line is. Right, so there we have our two systems, latitude and longitude. Latitude goes from 90 degrees north through north to 90 degrees south. And longitude goes from north to 180 east and west. OK, so now if we combine this 
into a system on the Earth's surface. Here is our equator, 30 degrees north, 60 degrees north, and the North Pole. 30 degrees south, 60 degrees south, and somewhere behind there the South Pole. Now we always are going to use latitude before longitude because latitude has an A in it. And longitude is LO, and so alphabetically we will always say latitude for longitude, simply because of the alphabetical order. So if here is Greenwich, here is 30 degrees east, 60 degrees east, the horizon over there would be 90 degrees east, Oops. And likewise, the horizon on this side would be 90 degrees west. And here yeah, somewhere would be 30 degrees west. And 60 degrees west. So, naught degrees longitude, 30 degrees east. 60 degrees east, and likewise in this direction, 30 degrees east, 16 degrees east, and then of course we've got our longitude, uh, our latitude, 0 degrees at the equator, 30 degrees north, and 60 degrees north, and of course all the lines in between. 30 degrees south, 60 degrees south. So if we wanted to know where a place is, let's say this place here, X, we can remember we say latitude first, that it is more than 30, less than 60, in fact it's about halfway. 45 degrees north. And likewise, the longitude is halfway between 30 degrees east and, in fact, it's less than halfway. This would be 40 degrees east. And that defines that point. This point down here is, that's 30, 15 degrees south and 30, 45 degrees west. So every place on the Earth's surface can now be defined according to whether it's latitude or longitude. Right, so we need to just remind ourselves that this, this distance here is longitude, which we've drawn in green throughout, so let's draw it in green again. 40 degrees east, and then this one here, 45 degrees west. Now while we're about this, we should ask ourselves, where on this diagram does South Africa sit? So Africa sits between 30 degrees south and 30 degrees north, and West Africa covers the Greenwich Meridian, as does England there, and Spain, France, Italy, Greece, Turkey, the Middle East, and then in the north here we've got Norway, the Russian far north, Saudi Arabia, India, and over there in the east is Australia, in the northwest is North America, and in the southwest is South America. It's a good idea that you familiarize yourselves with the approximate position of the continents because it influences a whole lot of other geographic things. Right, that concludes this section on latitude and longitude, and you must practice it.